Yo, what is going on, YouTube? My name is Gene, bringing you guys a bonus episode for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. So, guys, in this video, we're actually going to be catching the legendary sword Pokemon Zacian. So, if you guys are excited for this, make sure you smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. So, in order to start this side quest, you actually have to go to the Slumbering Wheel and meet up with Hop and all that, do a little battle with him and all that good stuff, and it will trigger this whole little post-game side quest right here. Then you have to go to every single gym and defeat all the Dynamax Pokemon and Gigantamax Pokemon there. So, we already did that, saving all the good parts for you guys. So, now we're actually at Hammerlock Stadium and we gotta head to the top in order to defeat the two new guys. What is it? Shield Bird and Sword Word or something. These two bad guys who got the Wishing Stars trying to take over the legendary Pokemon. So, we're actually at the end of this quest here. It probably takes about an hour and a half to two hours long. But let me show you guys my team once I get the chance. But I think we're gonna have to battle Sword Word right here. So he says, well, 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 and I'm like, blah, 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 I just want to battle you and go catch this boy. So let's actually hop inside this battle, actually versus Punk. Before we even start this battle, I'm actually going to show you guys my Pokemon right here. We are rocking a level 100 Perfect IV Dragapult with an Assault Vest. We have Externius, Inteleon, Rillaboom, Excadrill, and Tyranitar. A lot of these Pokemon I'm just leveling up and just running this with my level 100 Dragapult because he can just run through stuff. But let's actually hop into this battle and I'll show you guys him running through the, uh, the like every single Pokemon like I literally just one tap most Pokemon right here a few Pokemon can actually take a few hits like if it's not very effective and I'm just using like sucker punch or something but we're gonna going up against this guy he has a surfetch right here and his Pokemon this is like our third time versus him his Pokemon gets stronger and stronger every single time but we're gonna start off with a nice little dragon rush see if we can actually finish him off with this move right here ready yeah you die Boop. yep see you later just one tap that fool dude this dragon pole is so strong I got perfect IVs on him from just breeding like a perfect ditto with a Dreepy and all that, and keep like constantly breeding. We got that. We actually power trained one of his stats, or well, hyper trained it in order to. Oh, I do not want to switch out in order to get all perfect IVs. And I'm rocking an assault vest on him. I just have to le level up his EV values. So there's EV and IV values, which both do different things. We're gonna Dragon Rush once again. Hopefully, this takes him out. He's gonna sucker punch us. That'll be super effective. But yeah, we eat that up. We are so tanky. His stats are so high, and we have an assault vest rocking right here. But let's see if we can take him out with this. Oh, yeah, no problem for my boy Dragon Pulp. So it's actually nice to actually level up a Pokemon to level 100 so you can farm like raids and all that stuff. So that's why I chose Dragon Pulp. He's one of the best in the game. So it's just like, yeah, dude, let's do him. He could probably rip up everything. So I just run raids and all that, farm it, and I can actually just take out anything I want. So let's go with Phantom. No, I should have sucker punched him. I should have sucker punched him, but Phantom Force is cool enough. We're going to vanish into the ground. <laughs> and then he comes up and slaps him with his ghost tail. But yeah, dude. Oh, what? He can hit me with that? What move was that? I didn't even know you can get hit in in Phantom Force right here when you vanish. But there we go. He's dead. That was sick. I was just like, how did he hit me? <laughs> but yo, look at his tail. It's all like transparent like a ghost because he's ghost and dragon, which is such a cool combination. I love him so much. He's probably my favorite dragon in all the games. I think he's sick. This is actually our tough spot right here. We're going to switch out to our Externius because all Dragon Pulse moves aren't too good against this this. What is it, Bisharp? Yeah, it's like a Steel-type Pokemon, but Xerneas has Flamethrower, and I think he can just one-tap and put him out of his misery, which is not too bad. But look at this guy's hair. There's two of them. It is uh, Shield Burt and Sword Word right here. Those are the two guys. They got the Wishing Stars trying to Dynamax Pokemon and take over Gower, kind of like how the Chairman Rose did it. But their hair is shaped as Sword and Shield, which is pretty funny. But yeah, this uh, side quest probably takes like an hour and a half, two hours, so I didn't want to just kind of like bore you guys with all the battles because there are a lot of battles it gets very tedious you have to go to each and every single gym defeating the dynamax pokemon there battle guys like four times and all that so i'm just showing you guys the end of this quest of us catching the legendary pokemon but there we go we can actually defeat this guy he only has four pokemon i'm gonna actually probably heal up my pokemon and then we can head to the top floor and go catch our legendary oh baby here we go heading up to the elevator right here let's go inside we're gonna head to the roof floor right here and i think our legendary is gonna be sitting there chilling there he is, our boy. This actually isn't our boy. This is Zamazetta, isn't it? Or is this Zacian? Because that looks like it has kind of like the shield face. But let's go. Let's see. Or, I don't even know. Yes, this is Zamazetta. It says it is in pain right here. Yo, what you want, fool? What you want? Oh, dude, I'm so ready to catch this thing. Oh, my God. It, like, put this thing to the ground. Put shield burnt to the ground. I think the uh, shield and sword, Zamazetta and Zacian, both have different forms, which is pretty crazy. Oh my god, dude, come and catch this thing. There are only three legendaries, but I hope they add more in the future. <gasps> Wait, why are we versus... Z oh no, this is Zacian, right? No, why are we versus Zamazetta? I'm confused. Can we catch Zamazetta? 
I thought we could Zazzy. I'm playing Pokemon Sword. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have to do here. Let's see. Let's see. Yo, Zama's at the. What do you want? We're gonna go with the Cross Poison here. We're gonna try to knock it down in health, but not kill it. Luckily, I did save before here. In case we do kill one of these Pokemon, we can actually just. What's it called? We can actually just soft reset the game and actually go back in here. But we crit. We crit him. I actually don't want to poison him, so I'm not going to go for another cross poison. Because that would be pretty bad. That would be pretty bad. We got to actually bring him down to the red. I'm not trying to use my Master Ball here. I'm trying to just use, like, my Ultra Ball or something. This thing's pretty tanky. Oh, no! Do we really burn it? Do we really burn it? Don't you dare tell me. We're actually going to start throwing some Ultra Balls at him now. Where's he at? Ultra Balls. Let's go. Let's throw an Ultra Ball. Okay, we cannot throw a Pokeball, so it looks like we are actually going to have to kill this thing, which isn't too bad. We're just going to Dragon Pulse. I was going to say, don't we get Zacian? Why are we versus Amazenta? <laughs> but we're actually going to kill this thing. Oh, well, hopefully it doesn't kill it. Just make it faint. You know, Pokemon don't really die. They just faint. So we're actually going to do that to this thing and then probably catch Zacian, which is nice, which is nice. But Zamazenta, I am sorry I have to take you out. It's actually going to Iron Defense. It's okay. The burn's going to kill it off anyway. It's fine. It's fine. You're done. You were done. But, yeah, look at Externius. We actually caught him in our finale episode, which actually is awesome. You guys should definitely go check that out if you haven't checked that out already. But we got my boy right here. Xerneas doing some work. We actually take down this Samuseta right here. And hopefully, what's it called, will actually pop out here. Zacian, because I want to catch him so bad. He's so sick, dude. He has his signature move, Behemoth Blade. Is awesome. Why do you want to learn moves? Nobody's learning moves. <laughs> We're in serious matters right here. But perfect. We can actually take him out and see what happens next. I'm kind of confused. He's going to make his sound. Samuseta, are you all right? Yeah, why, why are you making me hit him? It's because they, the two people, they actually, like, powered him up and made him evil for a little bit. But we kind of knocked it out of him. He says, hop, watch out. Hop, you're fine, buddy. <gasps> I thought I murked it. And there's our boy protecting Hop. Oh, yeah, dude. Zacian is here to play, baby. Yeah, so they actually took over Zamazetta because they had the Rusted Shield. They took it from Hop, but they didn't take the Rusted Sword from us. So that's why Zacian is still good and Zamazetta isn't, like, he's bad. He looks kind of like poison, doesn't he? <laughs> but he's going to run away, and our boy Zacian is going to be right here. Do we get a chance to catch him? Or do we just, do we have to battle to catch him? Or do we just obtain him? But there's the Rusted Shield right there. Can we have it back? Ha, beat him up! Beat him up! <laughs> there we go. We took the Rusted Shield back from us. And Hop's going to go back down and go check out Zacian or uh, Zamazet to see how he's doing. And our boy's right here, dude. I want to catch him. Come on, let me catch him. Dude, he looks so sick. He's going to look at us. Zacian stares into our face. And then what does he do? Does he leave us? Does he say bye? Where's he going? Don't leave us. Don't leave us. Oh, yeah, dude. Now we actually get a chance to catch this boy. I'm actually going to save the game and all that good stuff before we actually go into the battle. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to catch this legendary Zacian right here. It is standing right in front of us. And look at this thing. This thing is absolutely sick. I actually switched up my team a little bit here. I actually put in my stronger Pokemon because I think this thing is going to... I think it's level 70, I believe. And it's pretty strong Pokemon, so I don't really want to mess around with it. But we're going to be trying to catch this thing with an Ultra Ball, not our Master Ball. Because I always like to save my Master Balls in this game. I don't know why I always like to do that. Because you never know if like a new Legendary is going to come going to come in that just runs away. You're gonna, you are might need an Ultra Ball to actually catch it. But let's go here. We're rocking out with our Dragon Pole in our front spot. I'm actually going to send a Phantom Force... And I don't think it should kill it. I really don't think it should kill it. It is, it is just a normal effective move. And this thing is level 70 in its full form right here. So I think this thing could take a hit. But I think it's going to bring it pretty low. Dude, this thing has Sacred Sword. This thing could just go run our team. Let's go. How much damage are we doing? Oh! Okay, not bad, dude. I like that damage right there. Bring him down to low yellow. We're actually going to start throwing some... What's it called? Some Ultra Balls at him right now. Just start... Trying to funnel him down here. Where's my Ultra Balls at? We have Ultra Balls here. We have 46. 46 doesn't catch him. That's ridiculous. That's when we do throw our Master Ball. <laughs> There's a Wiggle. Oh, two Wiggles. No way. No way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We just went through that thing. We just threw one Ultra Ball at that thing. Are you serious? I thought that was going to be a lot harder than that. That is absolutely insane. But look, we get Zacian in our Pokedex. That is the funniest thing I have seen. Zacian has a Rusted Sword. We're going to place it in our item bag. Are you kidding me? 
We threw one ultra ball and I think he caught it. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Wow, brilliant. Seems like you've been recognized by real royalty. Oh, yeah, we have. You know we're the best. And get these guys out of my face. They started all this doom and all this stuff. Get out of here. They tried taking the legendaries and turned them against Galar and the people and all that. So, guys, after we catch Zassian, we're actually going to have to head back to the slumbering wheel. And Hop is back there with Samazetta, who is not okay. So, in order to finish up this little post-game mission, we have to head to the slumbering wheel with our Zassian and go see Hop. So let's actually head back there right now. We actually flew back to Potswick, which is our first town, right to our house right here. Look at us, we're chilling here. But I'm so surprised I caught that thing in one catch. Like, jeez, dude, that thing was level 70. We just threw one Ultra Ball at it, and we said, see you later, dude. All right, let's talk to Sony here. Want me to show you to the center of the woods? Oh, yeah, dude. Make this thing easier. Save us a trip here. And look at us, we make our way over here. Look how big this thing actually is. It's like a wolf. It's absolutely enormous. There, there, everything's all right. Well, let's bring out our Zassian. Kind of calm this thing down. Yeah, you can see that this thing is like possessed or something. So I'm hoping like our Zassian can kind of calm this thing down. Or maybe you just got to give it the rusted shield hop. We'll see. We'll see. Come on, we are here. We are right here chilling. Come on, come on. Bark, it said. It looks happy now. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Though I can tell you things were looking pretty dire here at first. So once he kind of brings them back to this little area right here, he kind of starts to calm down and all that. But I'm hoping we get to bring out our Zassian and kind of see them side by side because they are just such awesome Pokemon. I think these are one of my favorite in-game legendaries. These guys are sick. It's absolutely awesome. What's Hop doing? hi yeah, what's he do? Throw a Pokeball at it? Oh, he caught it! <laughs> With the regular Pokeball! <laughs> that is hilarious! He just caught it with a regular Pokeball? That's... Like, how? <laughs> how? He didn't even hit her in it or anything. I had to hit mine, throw an Ultra Ball at it. Granted, it was only one Ultra Ball, which is pretty funny. Which is pretty awesome. Jeans, I got a favor to ask. Though I hate to look like I'm copying that posture. Still, I want another battle against us. Oh, he wants to battle us. What's good? In the slumbering wheel, he said. In the slumbering wheel. So that's actually how we're going to finish off this playthrough and this bonus episode. We're going to finish it off with a battle with Hop. But you guys know what I'm going to be doing right here. We're actually going to be switching out one Pokemon here. Where is my Zacian? Zacian is coming into battle. His stats are nasty. He has some really good stats on him. We're going to be taking out our Externeus right here. That's fine. We're going to be starting off with our Dragapult. Getting things started. Hopefully he has Zamazeta in his team. Let's go. For the final battle for this game, it's going to be against Hop right here. Let's go. Let's go, baby. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He's going to send out... You're still sending out double. You just caught a Zamazeta and you're sending out double. I'm going to just run you with this Dragapult. That 100 Dragapult is just going to run you. Absolutely run you into the ground. Let's do it. He said, don't hold anything. Oh, wow. This Pokemon actually did level up a good bit, but I, I'm thinking our Dragon Rush can still actually take this thing out in one hit. Let's see. Let's see. Go down there. Get him. Murked. Absolutely murked right there. <laughs> that is awesome. Let's go. Dreadnought all levels up. It's okay. We have Grimstar on, on our team now. Level 65. I called him like that. Inteleon's going to go out. We're just going to keep current Pokemon. We'll throw out our Zacian in just a minute. Get him some time. Show you guys all his moves. But dude, that Behemoth Blade is sick. Is absolutely unreal. It's gonna send out Inteleon! Inteleon! Where are we gonna go from here? We're gonna go with another Dragon Rush, dude. Dragon Rush should just be able to run things. Should, should just be able to run things here. <laughs> Murked! <laughs> Yo, do they stand no chance? Absolutely no chance to my level 100 max IV Dragapult right here. What's he going? Actually, so we're gonna switch out to our Zacian. Oh, no, we cannot switch out to our Zacian. I'll actually heal him up in just a minute. I'll heal him up in just a minute. Dang it, dude. I forgot his health would be down. No! So we can actually just give it like a potion while we're just in battle here. We'll let Zacian finish off the last little battle. We're Pokemon. Let's go. Dragon Rush is going to come out again. He avoided the attack. You hunk of junk. And Crunch is going to be super effective against a Dragon Bolt. But yo, he eats that up. That did like nothing. That did like nothing. Let's go. One tap this fool. One tap him. Yeet. Merc. <laughs> Yo, dude, this is probably my best investment. I just gave him a bunch of rare candies and a bunch of candies and just maxed this boy out. All right, we're going to keep him in here again. It's fine. It's fine. The next Pokemon will actually heal up our Zacian and then you turn it out to him, which is nice because I actually have you turn on my Dragapult right here, which is always a solid move, especially for comp competitive play, which I actually want to use him in. 
Um, what do we want to go with? We're gonna go with Sucker Punch. Just punch him up real quick. Do 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 do. Oh, not even that much damage with the Sucker Punch. Didn't do too much, but I think our what's it called will actually take him out. Our Phantom Force will be fine. We're gonna vanish into the sky. We're not into the sky. Just vanish. <laughs> we're just chilling. We're chilling. Let's go. He's gonna use the light screen on us. What you want, fool? Why are you trying to light screen me? Light screen will actually knock down all special attack moves. Well, good thing that's a physical attack move. Phantom Rush is a or Phantom Force is a physical attack move. So any special attack will actually I think like brings it down half damage, which is solid for like three or four turns, maybe five at max. Go. He's gonna send out Pin Churn. We're gonna keep current Pokemon, and we're actually gonna heal up our Zacian right here. Probably give him a Hyper Potion mid battle. Just give him quick little heals. I don't think I have Max Potions. I think I just have uh, Hyper Potions, which is pretty terrible. Let's see. What do we have? Yeah, we only have Hyper Potions, which should give him a good amount. 120 health. That's fine. Bring him up to the green, high green level right there, and then we can take out this Pincher. And he has Zing Zap. What kind of moves that? Jeez, did nothing. We are still in the red, and it critted. I mean, it's still in the green. Any credit. No, we don't want to go back to our bag. What am I doing? Yeah, it's asking. It's pretty high on health right here. So we're just going to drag and rush this pink churn right here. Finish him off. And then switch out to Zassian to finish off this whole game. The last mission for this game with Zassian, dude. What a Pokemon, dude. What a Pokemon. I wonder, do we have to give it the Rustic uh, Sword in order for it to turn into that kind of Pokemon? He's going to send out Zamazenta. Oh, we haven't battled for the ages right here. We haven't battled for the ages. What you want? What you want? <laughs> Let's go. We'll actually give him a little health advantage, too. How's it turn into, like, that special form? Is his going to be special form? I'm going to be mad if it is. <laughs> Let's go. Throw it out there, buddy. Final battle with the legendaries. Watch. It's probably going to have that cool little shield look on it. Let's see. It does. No. How do I get mine? I think I need it to put on the sword. I, I think I need to give him the sword, which I'm kind of mad about now. <laughs> Which is fine, which is fine. What are we gonna go with? Everything, oh, we got Sacred Sword, which is actually super effective. We're gonna Swords Dance up here. We're gonna Sword Dance up and try to one-shot this Zama's at the Maker Tekko plus two right here. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee right here. What's he gonna do? He's gonna Behemoth Bash. We should be able to eat that up. Come on, eat this up. Eat it, Zat. If that if our Zat scene dies, I'm gonna be kinda sad. Don't die! Jeez! No! <laughs> oh, we survived! We survived! We are on two health. This is our last chance here. We have to one-shot this bad boy. Can we one-shot him? No! <laughs> He's actually going to take us out here with Behemoth Bash. If we were full form, we would have one-shot him. But that's hilarious. That's okay. No big deal. Bye-bye, Zacian. <laughs> well, why well, didn't just give him the sword right off the bat? I didn't know I had to give it to him for him to be in this form. But it's fine. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. We'll just finish him off with... Our Dragon Pole's got to do it. Our Dragon Pole is so strong, dude. I love him so much. But there we go, guys. We're actually going to be finishing off this battle right here and this playthrough. So, then with the Sucker Punch, we'll always attack first with a Sucker Punch. It full restored. It full restored, you hunk of junk. You hunk of junk. You don't full restores out here. And our Sucker Punch missed, which is pretty lame. All right, let's go into a Phantom Force then. <laughs> I was so ready to finish off this playthrough with that hit. We missed attack and he full restored, which was a 2-4. And we went 0 for 2 there. <laughs> Phantom Force. I don't think we'll one-shot it. We'll do some work on it. Oh, my God. Not even half health, this bad boy. This thing's an absolute tank. He's going to play rough. He might actually be able to take out my Dragon Ball. Yeah, see, look how much damage he's doing. Going back into Phantom Force because this is the only regular effective move. Everything else is not very effective on him. So it's not too bad. It's not like we're dealing, like, very low damage. Watch this. We're going to get crit here. Watch this crit. No, no crit. <laughs> And I think his Samazen is actually gonna, yeah, play rough. Take out our Dragapult right here. If he full restores again, I'm gonna be mad. He's just murking on our team right here. Murking on our two top dogs. I think he's absolute unit. Let's go into our uh, Corviknight and finish this bad boy off. We'll go with our little Steel Bird right here. Our Steel Bird. What you want? What you want? Under no berries for you. No berries for you. Now we can actually finish off this battle with this Brave Bird we're gonna go for. Do we outspeed? No, he's gonna crunch us. He's gonna crunch us up. Nom nom. <laughs> Light damage. Light damage. Brave Bird coming in. Hopefully finishing off this battle. Come on. Show it to me. There we go. Let's go. We defeated Hop for the last time. Basically finish up this game, guys. That's awesome. That is awesome. Get it. Get it. Get it. There we go. Defeated Trainer Hop. Let's just see how this ends. I'd love to see how this game ends. 
or this post game mission ends because usually they kind of kind of seals everything up and then we kind of just go into the game and do everything freely oh but we got this cutscene that's our greatest champion for you you really are strong jeans but getting beat this time felt a bit different i may have lost but i feel great you know what jeans i think i found a dream of my own i want to be someone who can help out pokemon that are in trouble wherever they are i think i want to become a pokemon professor i started thinking i might when we were going around to all the stadiums to help the Pokemon that were running out of control. I know I don't know enough about Pokemon yet, and I've got no experience for this sort of thing, but I'm going to study and learn a whole lot, and someday I'll become the sort of professor that you, Jeans, and, so and you, Sonya, well, the sort you would be proud to know. I'm going to take a different path than you and Lee are taking, Jeans, but I'll still always think of you as my true rival. There's nothing I like better. Let's go, dude. Hop actually finds his own path because as you can tell throughout the playthrough and all that, battling wasn't really his thing and all that. But let's see. Let's see how this ends. Fanny, dude, dude, this game has been phenomenal. Like I said, if you guys want to catch post-game stuff, make sure you follow my Twitch. Link will be in the description below. We're going to be doing shiny hunting, completing the Pokedex and all that good stuff. And we're also going to be competitive battle and training up Pokemon. But look, these guys actually came up on our side. Lee is actually here. We got Piers. Piers actually turned into a great character through the post game. Helped us out tremendously with all that stuff going on. But there we go, guys. That is the end of this game. And it's been phenomenal. It's been phenomenal. My final thoughts on the game is it's my favorite Switch or one of my favorite Switch games. Definitely my favorite Pokemon game of all time. Maybe one of my favorite games of all time. This game has been phenomenal. And I hope you guys did enjoy this game. But guys... That is going to be it for this playthrough. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.